mean, like, come on then, you show not like well, this. Well, learnt a bit more about how to do this than we have. Yeah, so. make it so it's not like this, and then the outside of it is like. So we've got the buckets of dye down to the side here, guys, so you won't be able to see them. I'm going for it. So this is going to be a disaster. So I am going to show you. Mine started off quite badly there. Oh, we can see Molly's shadow. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Moll. And um, went better than when I did the purple at the end. Yeah, the purple was a bit eager to come out, but the biggest disaster was that one where the lid came off. So that went really badly. And this is Molly's finished t shirt. You can, you can see that I haven't put any of the bottom Which is a bit because... tricky to see because obviously we're going into the shade of the house, but. Yeah, I haven't put any of the bottom because obviously. You probably. It's me. Yeah. So I. Uh, that's pretty good I'm and Robins this is upside down for Robins because she's done hers the other way up but she's gone very blobby with a nice heart in the middle so that's what we've done so it's time to get the tie-dye out I'm really not sure how this has worked guys but we're gonna do our best so I need to rinse it in cold water apparently. So I'll get my gloves on so I don't get covered in dye, hopefully. Robin's t-shirt. It's gone very pink. And now I need to get some more water. Because this is the one I'm not sure about Molly's. It's kind of felt fallen in more than we wanted it to. So guys, this is my t-shirt. You didn't really get to see much of me doing mine. That's what mine turned out like with the puffy paints. We had a few disasters where the wind blew. So you can see there, it blew in half and the same with the green. Yeah, it was a bit tricky. So we probably could have planned that better. 
And this is Robin's. We're still waiting for like the really thick bits to kind of dry. It's still a bit tacky. I don't know whether you can really see. I mean, that's quite a big bit on the, hang on, on the sleeve. There you go. Um, which is quite sticky still, so. And it's, it's not really gone puffy like we thought it would. It's very odd, but maybe they'll be better after they've been washed and it has kind of stuck to the back a bit. Uh, it's not so good. Anyway, that's what Robin did with hers. And this was Molly's. And again, she had, we had issues with it um, blowing over. <laughs> Sleeve kept folding over. It was just not so great. We should have stuck it down straight away, but anyway so that's those and I'll show you the other ones in a minute just before I show you the tie-dye ones I want to show you this um, my husband's been to Tesco's today and he's treated me to something I'll turn it around and then I'll show you if you just give me a second I've wanted one of these for ages so so yeah Bug Hotel and it's an absolute bargain. Can you see that? It was £10 down to just £1. I'm not sure how fantastic the sunflowers are going to be but over the moon with that. So that's a project for next weekend to get that put up. So just in case you're wondering where the girls are, um, yeah it's getting harder and harder to persuade them to join in. Although Robin did just come downstairs and say she thought that I was waiting for her. Um, She's not feeling so brilliant today, so I can understand why she didn't really feel up to doing this video, finishing it off. Um, but I just thought it was important to show you um, how they turned out. We were going to put some more colours on them, but actually I think we kind of all decided, I mean Robin was always going to leave hers just pink. So yeah, we were going to, Molly and I were going to add extra colours to ours, but actually, well, it'll make more sense when you see how they've turned out so this one is molly's i don't know whether you can see most of that but can you see um yeah it's kind of my fault i put them all in the washing machine together thinking that i'd rinsed out all the surplus dye and i hadn't and that is why they've kind of gone a bit pinky so that was molls this is robin's which i like I quite like that. I think she's done a good job considering she was a bit worried about what she was doing. She wasn't very sure, but you, I think you can sort of see there are some lighter patches, so definitely something we'll do again. And we've still got some other puffy paints left, so I'm sort of coming up with some ideas of other things that we might be able to do with them. So if you've got any suggestions of what we could use those up on, I've got a couple of ideas, but yeah, if you would like us to try them on other things and we'll see how that goes. And I'll just go and get my t-shirt. And so this one is my t-shirt with just the green in the corner. And then it's kind of gone very pink everywhere else, but it's kind of a peachy pink so it kind of looks okay I don't know what you think let us know in the comments guys what you think of that because um, it's not quite how we wanted them to turn out but I think they're okay um, but yes we'll certainly got plenty of dye left so I really want to try the tie dyeing on something else not sure what maybe some joggers or something what do you think guys what would you pick to color we've got yellow dye and purple dye which we didn't use this time and then we've also got loads of the pink and the green left as well so um, we might go on a bit of a mad tie dyeing thing so guys I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you did can you please give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more from us go and subscribe because that not only helps support our channel and helps it get seen by more people but it also means that you don't miss out when we put another video up so you don't have to sit around waiting for us to just appear. <laughs> you will be notified so that would really help us so we'll see you in the next video guys. Bye!